Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and very good day Today I want to share and demonstrate MATLAB Simulink for power electronics uh, circuit which is control half wave rectifier Ok, to begin with we recall back our basic uh, schematic diagram for uh, half wave rectifier that consists uh, one voltage source uh, switching device and the load okay for this video we would like to demonstrate control half wave rectifier with example 1 for example 8 for R load and example 9 for RL load okay <clears throat> okay we recall back our previous uh, slide in the class regarding control half wave rectifier with R load okay with R load so the important terminology that we need to concern is about alpha alpha which is the uh, delay of firing angle okay <clears throat> okay we go to the example number 8 example number 8 requests us to design control half wave rectifier that produce an average of output voltage of 40 volt across the 100 ohm load resistor with uh, 120 volt RMS at 60 Hz and then this is the schematic diagram that uh, I plot already so we do the modification a little bit for example at the load I change the block parameters RLC to become R only okay so since the example 8 they request us to simulate load at the 100 ohm <coughs> we change this one to 100 and in order to maintain uh, 40 volt okay 40 volt average voltage uh, output voltage we need to set a firing angle at 61.2 degree okay so how we do this in the simulation okay we see the first block parameters AC voltage source we need to put the peak amplitude value 169.7 volt uh, face uh, in degree we put 0 and frequency at 60 hertz and sample time will remain at 0 Okay, and then we click and then we go to the pulse generator and the tristor this is two components that we have uh, put in the new control half rectifier compared to the uncontrolled there is no pulse with pulse generator and there is no tristor component okay in order to search the pulse generator we just simply put into the simulink uh, library browse uh, search engine we type pulse generator search and then you will found at the simulink tools uh, and the folder source okay and also if you type tristor tristor put enter then you have an option to tick uh, to pick the semiconductor devices at the simscape electro sim electronics and uh, simscape sim power system so I prefer you choose whether either detail tristor or details uh, detail tristor or tristor at the simscape sim power system power electronics okay okay now <clears throat> in the tristor this is the default value that you will get when you uh, search or pull from the simulink library browse okay so we need to adjust the snubber resistance and snubber capacitance okay so when i do the connection in the schematic diagram i put the snubber resistance 5k and i put snubber capacitance infinity i and f represent infinity okay and the rest you can maintain okay the rest you can maintain okay for the pulse generator make sure you obtain the pulse type uh, choose time base 
time you choose sim, uh, use simulation time and an amplitude i pro, i normally put one okay since our fundamental frequency at 60 hertz so period mean that one period so what is the value for the one period uh, easily that we can uh, have calculation 1 over 60 and pulse width or normally called as a percentage of period I choose at this stage a uh, 50% okay and the first deal uh, and the first delay this is the important part which is that this is represent the firing angle in our example okay <clears throat> so since we expected the first angle firing angle 61.2 meaning that in one period through 360 degree and normalized at per second we need to multiply uh, over one period okay so we click uh, apply and okay if I have uh, uh, can summarize the calculation just now regarding about the uh, our frequency is 60 hertz meaning that we have uh, determined the period 1 over 60 so approximately we obtain at 0 0.02 second okay and then as we know for fundamental frequency we can obtain at the 60 hertz this is 0 0.02 second okay over time since we want to have the firing angle at uh, 61.2 meaning that we need to divide 360 degree and we need to normalize at 0 0.02 second okay so this is the value that we need to put into the uh, phase delay okay which is called uh, we known the known this one as the firing angle okay firing angle okay now I choose the simulation stop time at 0 0.06 which is represent 3 cycle make sure I put the min block and the RMS block at the appropriate parameter for example at output voltage and the output load current and I start the uh, simulation I click the start simulation button so <clears throat> if you look here at 40 at average output voltage 40 volt I need to uh, have the firing angle 61.2 okay now we look at the average output voltage what is the value that we can get here this is the average output uh, current this is average output voltage so we determine at 39 volts okay 39 volt 39 volt so our our case study remain at 40 40 volt okay 40 volt 40 volt all right <clears throat> so and the rms value rms value what we obtain rms value from the simulation we obtain nearly at the 75.2 so in our calculation we obtain the example from example 8 75.6 okay approximately Okay, this is for example 8. Okay, example 8. So, in example 2, it, sorry, in example 9, what I need to change is the load. 
load we need to change the r become r l load r l load so based on the example 9 request us to obtain the 20 ohm at 0 0.04 which the firing angle firing angle at firing angle at 45 degree and beta or extension angle is 270 degree okay so 170 degree so we need to change at the pass generator this one become 45 remain the percentage of the period 50 percent and then we do the simulation so you can refer the solution the detailed solution at ebook that i provide in the column uh, example 3.11 3.11 i think yes this is example 3.11 we obtain an average value for output current at 2.19 amp and I have uh, an RMS uh, output current at 3.26 ampere. Even though this is the example that give detail on other solution, for example, power absorb, power factor and so on. But in the simulation today, in a short video, today I only represent the average current and I rms value okay so since we done the simulation so now we need to look at the irms value for the current this one okay so we obtain the rms value current at nearly 3 point uh, 3.245 okay 3.245 so 3.245 approximately then the average current we obtain at the average current average current we obtain at this uh, scope okay this one we obtain at 2.015 okay 2.015 and based on uh, from the hut 2.19 okay approximately okay this is whereby i can uh, confirm that the simulation is performed according to the to the calculation so what happened if i want to what what uh, how i want to find the beta 270 degree okay we recall back our material regarding the beta the beta how to determine the beta based on our material before the beta can be expressed by knowing the current the current research the current search is zero which is that when the diode is is turned off okay is turned off okay when the diode uh, turns off and the current research uh, current current uh, reach zero so which one is current reach reach a zero okay so <clears throat> the current that in the material mentioned is basically is dc current okay dc current so i need to have another scope here i want to know the DC current okay so this one I can get the DC current Oops, sorry DC current uh, 
you scroll down here this is whereby the DC current goes to zero if you scroll the zero so what is the time that we obtain here okay so based on this time I can convert to the beta value or excitation table okay so how I want to do that basically what you need to do activity example 9 okay so what we need to do is uh, just knowing that the firing and the beta is represent uh, 270 degree times 360 degree multiply 0 0.02 okay so approximately you obtain at the uh, 270 divided by 360 multiple of 0 0.02 you obtain at 0 0.01 second okay you obtain a 0 0.01 okay this is the 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 beta that we need to normalize at the period okay at the time so based on this one uh, if you notice when I search for the current value I load normally I maintain at the zero here this is zero so I maintain at zero I so I normally obtain at zero point zero one okay 0 0.01 0 0.01 second okay that's all uh, from me regarding uh, control half rectifier to summarize what you need to recall back during your exercise of this control half rectifier uh, please try uh, we uh, redraw back this uh, circuit and try to simulate based on example 8 and example 9 okay this uh, four video video number one until video number four just now is very useful to help you a basic guideline in order to perform your laboratory task and your assignment task with that thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh